let's take a look at the difference between expected value and most local, likely outcome for a probability experiment. So we consider the probability distribution and we know that the expected value effectively is by calculation the average value um, for that probability experiment. So we run the probability experiment a number of times, it might be a game or something else, and um, however many times we play it, there's going to be an expected value that we would get, which means if we averaged out the number over those uh, trials, we would get the expected value. It's an average. That's what average means. It's like we're sharing the value over however many trials we, we run the experiment. For a binomial distribution where we've only got a success or failure, we know that the expected value is NP. So the number of trials multiplied by the probability of success. So that's all good to go. What is the most likely outcome? Well, to do that, let's have a quick look at a binomial distribution graph. And you can see here that I've got a binomial distribution distributed uh, over 10 trials with a probability of success of 0.85. So it's no surprise this graph is skewed left. Nice long tail and then most of the probabilities are clustering around the end, which makes sense because it's 0.85. Now the expected value is 0 0.85 multiplied by 10. That's, I've just done PN instead of NP, but it's the same thing. Um, and that gets us, of course, 8.5. So the expected value is right here in the middle between 8 and 9. But we can't call 8.5 an actual number that we can get. We can get 8 wins, say, for example, or 9 wins or successes. We can't get 8.5 because this is a discrete variable. So the average or the expected value is something that might not ever exist in the set. It can exist, but in this instance, it doesn't. I've moved the slider slightly to 0 0.8, and now we know that 0.8 of 10 has got to be 8. 8 is now the expected value and is part of the um, distribution. It's a discrete value that we can actually get. So that's fine. So what's the difference between expected value and most likely value? So the most likely value, it might not surprise you too much to think about it as the mode of our distribution, the mode. Okay, and what that means is it's the uh, most common outcome that we're going to get. And when you look at this, unsurprisingly, 0.8 gives us uh, an expected value of 8, and it is also the most likely um, outcome that we're going to get, 8 successes. If I move this to 0.85, we can't get 0.85, but we can see the mode tells, tells us that 9 is the most likely value. So if we run 10 trials, we would expect on average to get um, uh, 8.5 on average. So if we got all our wins and successes and then shared them out equally uh, for each trial, it would be an average of 8.5 per trial. But what that really means is that we're going to have a whole bunch that are nine because that's the mode and then a whole bunch that are less than nine and then they balance each other out to an average of 8.5. Expected value, 8.5 most likely value, nine.